Hi right, everybody, welcome back to episode 20 of my YouTube channel, which is dedicated to the construction and planning and development of the Lake Erie and North Shore Railroad. And in this episode, we are going to start a new phase of construction on the uh, layout with uh, starting the General Motors Electromotive Division plant construction. And these, um, this plant was uh, constructed in London, Ontario and uh, it manufactures uh, a lot of the motive power, electromotive power, for a variety of different uh, GM uh, power um, providers. And in this episode, we're gonna talk about the research of how uh, we came up with the ideas of uh, how we're gonna construct this plant, the planning that we're, we're gonna put into it, and then we're gonna start the build, and I hope you're gonna enjoy it. And uh, some people have been asking me about the, the detailing that's going to be happening in all these different phases of construction. And what we'll do is we'll go back once we have the rough layout uh, um, in, uh, in, in uh, set up, then we'll go back and we'll do each individual um, scene with the details and we'll do individual videos on those so you can see all the detailing and the uh, weathering and all that stuff that happens at that time. Okay, so we're just doing the raw construction now. Then we'll come back to the details. So I think this is getting too long. I think we need some railroad soul. Okay, so this is the planning um, part of the uh, Electromotive Division. And I'm sorry you can't really see the picture that's behind me, but uh, what I will maybe do here is see if I can uh, get rid of me. There we go. So uh, over here you can see this is the uh, a, a, a Electromotive plant, a GM plant, but it's not the one we're going to model. But I just wanted to remind you that uh, back in the 1980s, uh, EMD decided to consolidate all of their locomotive production uh, at the diesel division of General Motors in Canada, in London, Ontario, which is part of our layout uh, in the planning that we've gone through in episode one. And basically, it's a pretty big place. And uh, it could produce six locomotive engines per day, which is a pretty high-powered uh, production for those uh, for that time and I just wanted to remind everybody the EMD SD40, EMD uh, SD60 and, and the Jeeps the EMD GP60s uh, all were produced at this plant so uh, a lot of uh, production of engines that we look, know and love were uh, produced at this plant. Now this is the actual um, this is the best picture I can get of the actual plant we're going to try to model. Now, obviously, this is huge, so we don't have enough space on the layout for this. So what I've decided to do is take the old modeler's license and, and really apply it heavily. And uh, what I'm going to try and do is model this part over here. Now, the reason I'm liking this part over here is because you can see the tracks coming in. Okay, and it looks like there's one, two, three tracks going in, and then it looks like a supply track going down over on this side over here somewhere. And then there's this other outbuilding here, which uh, looks like it might be some kind of machine shop or 
engine, maybe even a, an engine facility where they're building the actual casts for the engines. And then I really think this uh, water tower is cool. So we'll put one of those water towers in at some point, maybe when we do the detailing uh, component of this. So we're going to try and model this outbuilding and a portion of this building here. And we'll try to get this sort of three tracks coming in and maybe a track on the outside to load uh, parts or whatever. Maybe even a place to store engines if, uh, if they're completed. So all of this over here, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna get into all the uh, huge parking lots and the huge business center uh, offices and all that stuff. We're gonna really condense this down just to this area here and try to make it look like a, you know, a plausible GM plant in the space that we have. And this is all, you know, this is uh, a problem that we all have. We don't have enough space to do all this to real size. So uh, you have to decide what, what parts of this uh, plant really excite you and what parts do you want in and uh, to make it look like it is an actual GM plant. That's what we're going to do. Now this is a picture showing what's happening inside the plant. <clears throat> this uh, it, it gives you an indication that at first when you see it it looks really sort of uh, random and and messy and you know all that stuff but when you really sit back and look at it you can see these are the engines here that are waiting to uh, sort of move up into the area where the uh, prime movers are installed. Uh, you can see uh, the the bracing that goes underneath the the bodies and the chassis of the of the uh, engines. Um, so it's and you can see the massive cranes and the um, you can imagine the amount of weight these things are lifting, moving these uh, you know parts around for these engines. So we're going to try and get uh, some of that modeled. Now I've also got a, a more recent color picture here. So you can see they actually have changed the style of cranes they use. And you can see there's all kinds of equipment alongside and there's piping and wires up here. Um, so I'm going to try and get some of that when we get to the detailing part of the, uh, of the plant. Um, and then, of course, this, I really like this picture because this, uh, here's the sort of prime mover sitting here. And you can see that this is, is being, you know, this is being constructed outside. Uh, now, uh, what I am going to try to model is this car here with this engine on it. I'm not going to model this part. Take that away. So we can get the impression that this prime mover was built in the outbuilding, and then it's going to be transported into the factory proper by a, uh, a transport car. So we'll see how all this comes out. And uh, let's go down to the train room and uh, get started. Okay, we're back in the train room. And based on the uh, research I've just done, I've set up this track plan. Now this is the basic area. The GM plant's gonna go in here, the EMD division. Now, obviously uh, in real life, this is 100 acres. <laughs> so I've gotta, gotta um, reduce this down into this area, but we're gonna try and put some realism into it. And uh, so we're gonna do the engine uh, building facility. And uh, from the research that we've just seen, you'll see, you'll notice that there was a track going down the outside. The building's gonna be placed in here somewhere. There's gonna be a switch coming in, and then there's gonna be two tracks going in here. And then this track is gonna join this building over here, which is gonna be another uh, part of the manufacturing site. So they'll build stuff here, or they'll build stuff here. And then they're transferred across this track into the actual building facility where they will uh, move it from one track to another with a crane. And then uh, they can roll out. And then on this outside track here, they can receive uh, uh, supplies and materials and uh, perhaps store um, engines when they're completed. Okay, so that's the um, site where we're going to put it. 
Uh, these are the two main line tracks here. So we join the main line here. Okay, so let's go over to the model bench and we'll see what's happening there. Okay, we're over at the model bench. Now, the first building that uh, is going to compose part of this complex is this uh, railroad shop building by Walters. And uh, so we're going to have the trains come in the end over here. And uh, this will be against the side back wall area. I'm going to put a little bit of activity out here and I may put a loading dock along here. Um, I think I will put a loading dock along there. Now, uh, the second uh, component of this uh, we'll uh, handle in a different video, but um, I'm not going to take you through all of the um, steps building this. I'm just going to give you some ideas of what I was thinking while I was building it, and I'll show you, you know, uh, at certain points along the way. Uh, I open up the box have the instructions that have been read. This is how it comes. This is how it appears when it comes. And I don't like this color. I don't mind the bricks so much, but I don't like the color. So I'm going to go with a more reddish brown brick. I did a little bit of research on this and I like the, uh, I think the actual GM plant in, in Canada had a little bit of brick on it, but it had a lot of sort of white fibrous material too, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just go with the brick because I like that. So my GM plant here is going to is going to have red brick and I like that sort of aged ready brick look. So I'm going to go with that. And then here in the floor, what I did notice from the research, which you've just seen, is that the basically the floors inside these things were pretty clean, um, pretty um, basic concrete so we're going to just paint this a basic concrete and I'm just pretty much going to leave it at that and not put a lot of staining and stuff on it um, and then we'll add some other colors uh, as we add sort of more detail inside the shop okay so that's what we're going to do I'm going to paint this concrete and then we're going to do this that red brick color and I'll come back maybe when we're done that. Maybe I'll show you. I think I showed in a different video how to do the red brick stuff. But maybe we'll take a couple minutes and show you that again. But uh, mostly I'm just going to go in stages on this one. Okay. See you soon. Okay. This is an update on the GM factory. So this is the first building sort of one of the main buildings and you can see I've got the uh, main frame of the building connected built okay we'll just have a look here I've, I've put it on this uh, piece of foam so that I don't have to touch the actual building and I'm moving it around so uh, it, look it is pretty solid but I always like to avoid moving things around if I have to. Now, this painting here and how this brick was done is the same technique I used before where uh, I paint, so I, I mix up a combination of these paints. We'll just move this over here of these paints here. So this is Burnt Ombre. This one is red from this product here. This one is maroon. So I mix a combination of these. So most, the most part is this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, mix it up. And I just paint it on, get down here to a better view paint it on and then i use a sponge and just tap sponge the excess off so that's how that was done now if you look at the back there you'll see that there are some beams in place 
and those beams okay were um, painted red uh, so these beams were painted uh, red now the products I used for that were the rust-oleum red current so I put that on first and then I use this rust effect and I just lightly spray the rust effect over it I'll just show you here's a cross beam that I've done also and you can just see the little tiny specks of rust on there okay and I'll show you another section here so this is the big section that's about to go in and that's also been done same technique Okay, very good. So this model, I have to say, was a really good, really good model. It went together really well. Uh, I'm really impressed uh, with the, the corners. If you see here, those corners are perfect. Okay, so that's um, really, really good that uh, they have crafted this model in such a way. And I painted this, uh, so what I did at the back here, you have a choice. You can have, uh, you could maybe even have three windows if you wanted back here. You don't have to have a door. And you can decide w whether to put the door here <clears throat> or here. <clears throat> I chose the middle. And I just painted this with some Rust-Oleum sort of bluey, bluey green type paint. So that is a quick update of where we're at right now. So I'll continue the construction and uh, we'll get back to you once we have more done and uh, maybe we'll start to put the lights in. Okay. Okay, just a very quick update on the GM factory. You can see, got the, uh, most of the building done. Have to do some touch-ups. Uh, with painting and stuff like that. But then I'm just showing you this point in the build. Very nice model, I have to say. There we go. I'll just gently turn this. To the other end. Now I do have to say, uh, as much as I am embarrassed about this but I did actually have this section in upside down and uh, when I went to correct it, it snap some of the palisters off so I had to do a bit of a correction here and I think once I paint that you're not going to see it but uh, one of those things got to pay attention it just seemed to fit and I didn't pay attention until I tried to put the roof on and went oh what this isn't gonna work. So we'll get down here. Look there. So it's coming together pretty good. Look from the side. Pretty good, obviously I gotta do some touch-ups. And remember along this side, there's gonna be a loading dock. So uh, that has to be done. And I also have uh, an interesting idea for a sign, which I'll uh, include in a, in, at the end of this video. Hopefully it works out. Okay, so that's where we're at. Oh, maybe I'll just, okay, maybe I'll just put a piece of the roof in so you can see how that looks. Let me just... that into place so that's kind of how it's going to look now I'm not putting the roof on totally yet because I want to put the lights in but I decided to go to color the roof uh, sort of a darkish gray and then I did put a little flint of rust on there but you can hardly see the rust but you can see a bit of flaky stuff and then we'll put the uh, these little guys on top 
Gonna paint those silver, put a bit of black around them. Okay, so I'll come back when uh, when that's in place, and we'll start the lights. Okay, there it is. I've just set that building in place now, and where it's gonna go. I'm just gonna kind of get a different angle under here. You can see, I've still got a lot to do on that building, but I just wanted you to see how it looks. It looks amazing. I'm really happy with that. I'm just gonna pause this and change the camera angle. Okay, this is the uh, scene from above. Now, as you can see, I still have to ballast these tracks. I still have to glue those tracks in, but the building looks amazing where it is. Okay, now the reason I am up here is I'm just going to gently remove this roof. I just want to point out the lighting done. Now each of these is a separate access wire. I don't know if I can get down to show you. All right, we're continuing with the next component in the uh, GM factory, and that's going to be this. Uh, we're going to kit bash this. Um, Vulcan Manufacturing Company a little bit and I've just taken it out of the box, cut the pieces that are composed of building and I've filed them down so that uh, all the uh, connection nubs are off and everything's flat and then we're gonna go and paint this. I'm gonna use the same um, the same technique as I used on the other component, the engine house. I'm just going to paint this with a brownie color and then sponge it. Okay, and then uh, once we have, I've already painted the base. Okay, spray painted the base. Uh, so once I get this uh, bit together, we'll come back and we'll have a look at it. Okay, so we're moving into the next phase uh, of the uh, GM factory. And that is, uh, we're going to use this kit from Walters. This is the Vulcan Manufacturing Company. We're going to just uh, kit bash it a little bit uh, and uh, add this as uh, the engine, uh, probably a, an engine uh, building facility in the GM plant, which will be connected. Uh, I'm going to try and put this uh, um, sort of uh, outdoor crane in between the two buildings, see how it works. Uh, but what you can see is I've started already to, I've painted the, painted the building and I've used a technique where we get some weathering already built into the, to the brick work. And we can see different colors in some of the individual bricks. And uh, I'll show you how I do that. So we get a little bit of uh, different coloring on the bricks. It looks like it's uh, been there a while. Okay. And then I have went with the green for the windows, a greeny blue type color. So it's coming out like this which I kind of like, actually. Okay, so we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna continue the building on, uh, construction on this, and uh, I'll get back to you when we uh, get most of it put together. And then we'll see how it fits in with the whole scene over there at the uh, Electromotor Division GM. So this is the progress so far on the second building in the um, GM plant. So this is uh, a, a building uh, that was a, uh, that I started as a sort of standard model. Let's see, we've got most of the actual building completed. I've put uh, a couple extra 
pipes up here. I'm gonna put some more piping on this building as we go. Probably add some extra stuff on this little room here. But the interesting thing about this building is that it has no bottom. Okay. So that brought the idea to me that uh, I could make a, take a, uh, um, a base and uh, add stuff to it. So this is the base here. Okay, that's gonna fit, that, that building's gonna fit over. And I've added a few things on it so that it looks like there's some stuff happening inside the building when someone looks in. So this is inside the little room. This will all be glued down so that it will be uh, held in place. And then I picked up this little jigger thing here that I'm gonna put in there. So that it looks like when people look in, there's something happening inside the building. Now remember, this isn't all accurate and it's not all necessarily you know prototypical or anything like that it's just so that when someone looks in they'll see there's some kind of activity happening in there now this is just some uh, piece of a children's toy that I had laying around as this is these are just uh, little shelves that I made just out of whatever I had laying around okay and I'm gonna put stuff on the shelves like something to cover that hole uh, this is just an old tank that I had uh, from an old children's toy. Uh, this is just a sort of piece of scaffolding that I found laying around in my box of tricks. So I'm just putting that stuff in there. We'll see how it looks uh, once I put the building on top of it and we put the lights and stuff in. But that's the other reason why I wanted some of this stuff in here is so that I had stuff to, to put lights on that isn't going to just you know, have the bare lights in there. Okay, so we're gonna uh, continue on and I'll show you how everything works out. Okay, so I've now set the base in place. As you can see, I've screwed it in in a couple places so that it's down. And I've put the lights in. Let's see if I can get it. So there's the lights, how they're set up. And then the lights on this other unit here, one's here, and there's a red one back there that you can't see. So remember, this is just a very uh, rough layout so that when you look in, you'll see something happening inside the building. So hopefully when the lights are on, you're gonna see a little bit. Uh, we'll see how it all turns out. So I'll go get the building, I'll put it in place, and we'll see how it looks. Okay, here it is, building's in place. And I'm just gonna come down, you can see, as you get down, you can see stuff in there. That, you know that there is something going on in this place. It looks pretty good. We'll turn the lights on. I haven't got them hooked up yet, but you can see just that little bit we put in there makes it look very realistic. I'm just going to zoom in so you can get a better look at Sort of what it looks like. You can look inside. Okay, now let's roll back a bit. Now in this building, you can see there's something in there. There's a big generator in there or something. That's why the stack's there. And then when you look in, you can see there's stuff inside up to the top of the roof. And we'll see how it all looks. And the lights come on. Got to hook up the wires yet, but I'll come back and show you how that all looks once it's done. All in all, pretty proud of this. Pretty good result, I think. Okay, well, obviously we've got a lot of detailing and finishing, ballasting, and stuff to do here, but uh, that's all part of the project. Back soon. Okay, so we've got uh, the GM plant 
coming along. We've got the uh, two buildings in place. Now I just wanted to show you that I've uh, got the uh, ballasting done. Looks a lot better in there. Now what I want to do is put a loading dock along here. So a loading dock and I'm thinking uh, uh, maybe some kind of pump system to pump the oil and stuff and the lubricants that they need in, into here. Now I, I don't know where I'm going to put the big lubricant tank yet in there, but I'll find a spot. So what we're going to work on now is the loading dock here. So we'll go over to the workbench and see what we have. So uh, here we are back at the workbench. I went over and took a measurement. So this is a, just a couple pieces of scrap wood that I had laying around. Measured that off to the right height. And then I thought I'd put a little ramp section on the end like that. Sorry. And I found these little strips of brick in my goodie box and there was a one of these things so I'm gonna try and put this thing together and we'll see how it all works out okay so these are the pieces that we got stuff on the back I'm gonna to have to cut off and file down but uh, I'll do all that I'll put these together and uh, we'll come back and we'll see how it looks so this is just an update on the uh, progress on the loading dock so I got those bricks in I got them painted I put up some handrails I put a little tank there that I made and some handrails there and, uh, here you can see you put a ladder on there because you got to get up you got to have a place to get up I'm gonna probably put some people in here and then maybe some barrels and uh, boxes and stuff along the loading dock and then I'll put it in place and then we'll finish the ballasting and uh, see how it looks. All right, quick update on the GM plant scene. As you can see, I now have the loading dock in place. And we'll just zoom in here and I'll show you some of the stuff on that. So we'll put a little tank here for uh, loading and unloading some uh, dangerous flammable liquid. Don't know what that is yet, but I'm sure they use all kinds of stuff when building the engines few barrels and containers along the along the loading ramp. Put up some guardrails. We got a ladder there. Climb up. And over here, I modified this car so it can hold the um, prime mover engine from a from an EMD en uh, engine, and then they will just roll this from one building to the other. Right now it's just, just set it there. And bring it over to the middle here. And then I thought I'd bring in a tanker car here, just to show you the effect. Let's just back out a bit. Show you the effect there. And I think I'm gonna put some type of piping system across this track so that they can load and unload. Um, tanker cars there and then I might put a big tank way at the back there so that uh, the stuff that are unloading from the car will go back to the tank where they can store it I don't know just trying to make it uh, more realistic and I want to make a sign for up here and I want to put on some more decals I put one over this door here which I think is pretty cool and so we'll add some more, get more detail in this. 
But uh, I think for now, I'm going to stop this and I'm going to move on to uh, building a road. So, building a road. Let's zoom out here. Building a road all the way down here. Okay, all the way to the end and all the way over there. And I think that road is going to sort of go into a, a tunnel, go through the mountain and come out somewhere over there. Okay, so I will update you as we do more on the scene, but I just wanted to let you know where we're at now. And we'll be probably calling this, be pausing on this for a while. And then we'll come back when we do the, um, the much more detailed detailing in this area. I also want to put some stuff in here. I put a little thing in there, but I want to have some more equipment inside. It looks like they're actually having a, a factory in there because this does have some pretty big windows and you can see through. And oh, by the way, I have put a couple engines in there. I don't know if you can see those. Those are Australian painting. So the insignias on there are Australian. I thought that was fitting considering uh, the, the layout is in Australia. So we take some modeler's license. Okay, talk soon.